We begin tonight in Magna, where two people have been found dead just this week. A man was found in the middle of the road on Monday, and then a woman was discovered in a park on Wednesday. Here they are. Police have identified them as Shelley Brown and Stephen Chambers. Tonight, police are saying those two knew each other, but they have not said if these murders are connected. Tonight, friends and family came together at Copper Common Park to remember Brown during a vigil, and Good For You Toss Rick Aaron was there. Rick? Yeah, Kim, as you said, police are not saying whether or not these murders are connected, but it is for sure that Stephen Chambers and Shelley Brown, both 26 years old, knew each other. In fact, her relatives and friends say that she attended his candlelight vigil on Monday night. Now, just three nights later, they were attending hers. Brown's six-year-old daughter, Maya, lays flowers at a shrine to her late mother, who worked as a certified nurse's assistant at a Salt Lake City nursing home. Her body was found early Wednesday morning on these baseball field bleachers just a few blocks away from where Chambers' body was found in the street early Monday. I'm pretty sure they went to high school together, and I, I had seen th them in a group together several times down here on Main Street by the library and hanging out on Main Street. So I, I know they knew each other. They, they, these, these, these murders have to be connected together. I know it has something to do with drugs. Nobody can tell me that the meth problem here in Magna is not out of control. The Salt Lake Unified Police Department says thanks to several leads, they have narrowed down a list of suspects. I can't say an arrest is imminent, but I do believe that we are making significant progress, and, and that's a good thing. Two homicides in close proximity uh, to each other out in this community is rare, uh, won't be tolerated, and we want to get a quick resolution. Shelley's uncle, Pat Brown, says he will always remember his niece's smile and says the hardest part is thinking about Maya. She's going to grow up without her mom, and, and uh, I, know that, I know that her daughter, um, every time she, she comes over to visit and stuff, she's just so glad to be around her mom and, and hang with her, and this is going to be really tough. I spoke to Shelley Brown's mother this evening, but she told me she was much too emotional to speak about her daughter on camera. Reporting live in Magna, Rick Aaron, Good for Utah.